My name is Peter Taylor. Around two years ago, I lost my wife. My whole world collapsed. She was the purpose of me living. She was my life. She was my everything. And I miss her. I miss her so much. One day, I decided to take a holiday. It sounded like heaven. It should have been perfect. I was wrong. This is my story. As the sun set, a warm orange glow fell over the island. As soon as I'd arrived at the hotel, the first thing I decided to do was go inside and check in. I didn't need to... It was a Greek symbol carved out of stone. A brochure stand had a selection of pamphlets on activities around the island. It looked bare. An old-looking oil painting hung behind the reception desk. A healthy-looking plant sat on the reception desk. I noticed that the hotel's guest book looked strangely blank. Good evening. You must be... Hi, I'm Peter, Peter Taylor. I booked a room here three weeks ago. Yes, Mr Taylor. We've been awaiting your arrival. I trust your flight was okay. Yes, it was fine, thank you. Your room is ready. I'll just need to see your passport and checking in papers, please, sir. Here's my passport and checking in papers. I hope it's all okay. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. Yes, everything seems to be in order here. That's great to hear. Well, here's your room key, sir. Room number three. The rooms are just down the corridor. Great. Thank you. I do hope that you enjoy your stay with us here on the island of Linos. I'm sure I will. I'll be sure to be in touch if I have any questions. The door was locked. A small table graced the hallway. It was a painting of a lovely, peaceful island. The door was locked. The door was locked. The key didn't fit. The bedroom was perfect. I decided to check out what was to be my new home for the next seven days. Fail to see. It looked like a journal left here by the previous guest. It definitely made for some interesting reading. 
31st of March, I can still hear the screams. They seem to be coming from that island out to sea. I've been here now for four days, and the longer I'm here, the more and more I'm noticing things. Hell, even the receptionist doesn't seem right. I simply can't put my finger on it, but there's something not clicking with this place, as if all the islanders are holding a secret or protecting somebody. Some good news at last. I met a lovely couple today, Alan and Marie, who are here for the week. 3rd of April, Alan and Marie have vanished. The receptionist said they went back home, but this didn't make sense. They'd only just arrived. I received a couple of strange looks from the island locals today. Feeling really uncomfortable now. I want to go home. 4th of April, whoever finds this journal, please, for the love of God, don't ever go to the island. The sentence seemed to end midway, as if the author was interrupted. Strange. Inside the safe was what looked like some kind of membership card for Fragrioli's restaurant. I decided to take it. The hotel had provided a small selection of toiletries. I didn't need to take them with me. I decided to get a shower later. The toilet looked nice and... I wasn't ready for bed just yet. Perhaps a nice stroll around the island might be a good idea. A small table. Yes, Mr. Taylor. Is there any nightlife around here? The island of Linos is not a lively port. We do have a couple of restaurants and bars on the front though, sir. Oh yes, of course. I didn't mean nightclubs or anything. That's not really my cup of tea. We don't get a lot of outside visitors, to be honest. With all due respect, you must get a few people vacationing here. You run a hotel after all. But, of course, yes. What I mean is, we don't have hundreds of guests every week. We're not that much of a well-known, popular destination. No, I can see that. To be honest, this is just what I'm after. I need the peace and quiet. I'm sure you'll find that here, sir. Do you happen to know who stayed in the room before me? I'm not entirely sure. Why, may I ask, Mrs. Taylor? I'm just wondering, that's all. I found a journal that was left by a previous guest at this hotel. Really? I apologize, Mr. Taylor. I'm presuming that our cleaner didn't do a thorough enough cleanse of the room after the guests vacated. That's not what I mean. In this journal are some very concerning entries. Concerning? Well, yeah. The guests seem to be concerned about strange occurrences on the island. Strange occurrences? Like what, Mr. Taylor? In the journal, the author mentions a couple who came here, Alan and Marie. He said they seemed to suddenly vanish. Alan and Marie? I'm afraid their names don't really ring a bell, sir. Okay, well, thanks anyway. I'll come back later. Yes, Mr. Taylor. 
Do you happen to- I'm not in- I'm just one. I found- Really? That's not- Cons Well, yeah. Strange. In the journal, the author mentions screams that seem to be coming from an island out to sea. What a strange thing to say. I'm afraid. I have no idea what he means by that. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. I'll come back. The first thing that I immediately noticed was a woman crying. Are you okay? If, if I'm being honest, no. Oh God, this hurts so bad. Would you like me to call somebody for you? The only person you could have called for me is gone. Gone? Yes, gone. My boyfriend, Max, he went missing on this island one year ago today. Missing? My God, I'm so sorry. We'd came to Linos last year to celebrate his new job. We had one too many drinks at Fragrioli's restaurant and ended up arguing over a petty thing, as you do. Max stormed off in a huff and he said he was going for a walk on the beach. That was the last I saw of him. Oh, God. <laughs> the woman was clearly upset. That's so awful. I'm so sorry. Chances are he may still be here. Unfortunately, I didn't believe that. At this point, I presumed he'd ran off with another woman or something. Perhaps I'm not the best judge of character. I don't believe that for one second, because people are always going missing from Linus all the time. How do you mean? I mean, they go missing. They're here one minute, gone the next. Well, that can't be right, surely. I'm presuming that you've only just got here. That's right, yes. I've just landed. There you go, then. Something's wrong. Something's wrong with Linos, and especially with that other island over there. What island? The one over there, about two miles out to sea. Something just isn't right with that place. I couldn't help but think that this poor lady was just looking for something to blame. All I could do was go along with it. I see. Surely you've contacted the island authorities. They didn't want to know. That can't be right. You don't believe me either. No, it's not that. It's just... I want to be alone now. Okay, I'm sorry. I hope you find Max. I wasn't 100% sure, but I think it was Greek for shop. The crate was sealed. There was nothing of interest in the waste bin. Hi there. Lovely night. Beautiful, expensive looking yacht gently bobbed up and down on the ocean. The restaurant must have been closed. A wooden sign pointed...
What the hell? The sight of a wheelchair on a beach in such a random fashion sent chills up and down my spine. I had no idea why I, I couldn't help but wonder. The beach was quite spacious. It was the cane that I'd... I couldn't see how... door was locked. much-needed fan. I wasn't ready for bed just yet. Couldn't see how that would. What makes you think that the island out there has something to do with the disappearances? When Max and I came to Linos last year, we stayed here for one week. In that time, two people vanished tourists. Two people? That is rather strange. At that time, we just put it down to coincidence. Sometimes these things do happen, after all. Well, it very well could have been a coincidence. As you rightfully say, these things do happen. It doesn't stop there. Max and I were obviously shocked that this could happen, especially on such a small island like Linos. But the odd thing is, nobody else here seemed shocked. There was no search parties, no police, nothing. It's as if everyone on the islands just ignored the disappearances and swept them under a rug. I can't understand why there was no police involvement, at least. Exactly. What's your name, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? It's Peter. Peter Taylor. I'm Jodie. It's very nice to meet you, Jodie. Likewise, Peter. So there you have it. If I ask any locals about the island over there, I'm told rather sharp you should stop talking about it. This is intriguing, Jodie. I honestly don't quite know what to say. It's okay. Neither does anybody else. <laughs> I couldn't see how... I know what it's like to lose somebody.
You do? Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. Me too. You'll be okay, Jody. Trust me. I bet you have lots of fine memories. Lots, yes. You'll be able to hold on to those memories forever, Peter. All I've got to remind me of Max is this necklace that he gave me. I'm terribly sorry, Jody. It's a very interesting necklace. I'll hold on to this until I find him. That's the spirit, Jody. We'll speak later. You keep strong. <laughs> People vanishing and random deserted wheelchairs on beaches was too much for me to take in for one night. I decided that the best course of action was probably to go to bed. Maybe things would be clearer in the morning. I had no idea how wrong I was. I woke up the following day feeling slightly at unease. What exactly was happening last night? I had a shower to try and freshen up a bit. I hoped today would be much more relaxing. You there! I want to speak to you! Uh, me? Yes, you. Okay, what's this about? My name is Detective Mancini. Last night a woman, a tourist called Jody, suddenly vanished off the island. There were no flights from the island and as you know, there is no other way off the island. So I'd like to know exactly what you were doing last night, round about sunset. I spoke to the woman you mentioned. At least you're honest. I saw you last night, down by the harbour. That's right. We spoke for a while, and then I came back to the hotel. Are you 100% sure about that? That's what I said, wasn't it? I've got my eye on you, Taylor. Wait, how do you know my name? The island of Linos is a small island. Everybody knows everybody's business. Don't be going far, Taylor. I may want to speak to you again. A feeling of cold numbness shrouded my body. Jody was missing? Was this yet another coincidence? Even after what she was trying to tell me last night? I would began to think that maybe, just maybe, Jody was onto something. Somehow I would ended up as Mancini's main suspect. Detective Mancini could only be described as a bully who liked to throw his weight around, and if I didn't do something to clear my name, I would be in a boatload of trouble. Yeah. I was beginning to think that this holiday was a wonderful idea. I didn't need to... There was nothing of interest in the waste bin. Hi there. I'm here on holiday. Get much business? Well, hello there, young fella. The name's Quinn. Business ain't what it used to be, if truth be told. Simply put, there just ain't enough people on the island anymore. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Quint. I'm Peter, by the way. Well, I'm pleased to meet you, Peter. It seems like you specialise in fishing-related items. Ah, correct. I'm guessing that the fishing tackle, fish hooks, and crates full of bait gave the game away, did it not? It's okay, fella. I'm just joshing with you. 
Gets boring pretty quick around here, so any chance of a bit of entertainment, and I take it. I know the feeling, mate. I might be back later. Take care. The shelves were scattered with things ranging from toilet rolls to tubs of nails and screws. What a delightful selection. Products ranging from hair products to DIY tools. Completely normal. Crates and crates full of fishing bait. Gnarly. Ah, but by God, lad. Can you pull in some winners with that beast? Sharks? Island is surrounded by the little bastards. I say little. Big bastards, some of them. How big? Oh, 20 footers. 25, three tons of them. Looks like you're gonna need a bigger hook. A beautiful, expensive... Hi. What's going on here? None of your business, sunshine. Off your trot. The officer was clearly a moron who was obviously letting the power go to his head. Hey, mate. Um, hi. Welcome to Fraggy's. That's what I call it, anyhow. <laughs> Fraggies is a membership-only venue, I'm afraid. Do you have a membership card, sir? I sure have. Nice one, pal. Can I see it, please? Spot on, buddy. That'll do it. Welcome to Fraggrioli's, Mr. Vine. I presumed that the card must have belonged to my bedroom's previous occupier. Enjoy your stay, pal. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Hi, I'm Peter. Oh, it sure is. Hi, Pete. I'm Michelle. Who would have thought that a little island like this, out in the middle of nowhere, would have Wi-Fi? No. I'm not connected to the net. There's no internet at all on this island. I'm just writing an article. I'm one of those annoying journalists. Oh, right. <laughs> so what's the article about? Oh, just this and that. Nothing important, really. So, are you here on holiday, Michelle? Yeah, you could say that. How about you? Yeah, I'm here for the week. It's... it's an intriguing island. That's an understatement. How do you mean? Well, do you not get a vague feeling that something's slightly... off around here? It could be the chef's soup of the day. I'm serious, Pete. There's a crime scene on the beach, for Christ's sake. Do you not think this entire island is slightly... strange? It's a long story. It all started last night. I explain the whole story from last night, including my run-in with Detective Mancini this morning to Michelle. Wow. That's a pretty messed up story, Pete. You're telling me. I just wanted to have a peaceful holiday, and within 12 hours I'm the prime suspect in a missing persons case. Listen, I'm just going to put this out there, Pete. Go on. Would you like to help me get to the bottom of this? I mean, it's pretty fucking clear, pardon my French, that something's going on over there, right? Look, Michelle, right? Michelle, I don't want to be getting involved in this right now. I've got a lot on my mind. I came here to relax, not solve mysteries. You're the journalist, Michelle. You investigate. And I don't mean to sound off with you. I just want to rest.
it was the way to go. Maybe I'll catch you later. Yeah, Pete, maybe you will. There was nothing of interest. I didn't need to. It was a Greek. I noticed that... Yes, Mr. Taylor. I'll come back later. The door was locked. The door was locked. A room key with a number... The key didn't fit. The hotel I didn't need. A beautiful, expensive looking yacht. I couldn't see. I had no idea why a wheel... I couldn't help but one... A couple of sunbeds were left. Hi. None of your biz... The officer was clearly...
Maybe I'll catch you. Yeah, Pete. That wouldn't do any. I fail to see how. I fail to see. The crate was. I might be back later. Take products. A membership card. My wallet. I'd be locked. I didn't need. A brochure stand had a an old looking oil. I failed to see. Much needed. The key didn't fit. Small type. It was a painting. The door was locked. I wasn't ready. For I decided to. It was the bathroom's extractor. Fan. A bar of green. I couldn't see how. An old looking oil painting. A healthy look.
I couldn't see how I couldn't see I failed to see that wouldn't do it that wouldn't do a couple of sunbeds were Maybe I'll catch you. Yeah, Pete. I couldn't see. I couldn't see. It was the waiter. That wouldn't do. I couldn't see. 